Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today we're doing kissing cup paws. So I actually got left with two of these cups from a previous paw that I did of a landscape. So I really needed to use them up. So I thought I will um, do some kissing cups. So they had all real earthy colours in with the different greens, green light and a dark moss green. They had gold and cream. So I just thought I'll see what effects they get by placing those two cups nose to nose and kiss, pour and tilt. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I was quite shocked because I thought this would look the colours would just look absolutely awful but I'm pretty shocked with the result especially this one is very very pretty as you see So of course just tilted it evenly all over the canvas and got a um, composition that I'm happy with and just pouring a bit of that leftovers on my corner because it is just sort of ending up really looking like cut stone. I was really, really, really pleased with it. So I will do the same on the next canvas and um, obviously we're going to see different results. So same canvas again i'll just pop that over to one side or well, probably better i should have placed it on another um it's just a cake a cooling rack so i'm going to do the same but it is quite interesting that get totally totally different results So as you see, look at that completely different look. Obviously as we got further down the cups, um, there was far more of the uh, green down the bottom. So I'm just uh, putting my skewer through it to try and add some interest and break up some lines. But I was really pleased with how they came out from those cups that were just basically spare left over. They certainly look Especially the one on the right looks like cut stone in some way. 
um, really, really pleased with that. So it was a nice, fun little thing to do, and I wish that I'd actually got um, put them on, put the two cups now together on a bigger canvas. But that's absolutely fine. If these uh, dried beautifully, and I will be giving them either a varnish or a resin putting them together somewhere but they, they do look even though they were poured out of the same cup they look totally opposite but opposites attract I'm going to um, bring my camera down in a minute and let you have a real good look at how these turned out Just bring you down for these quick flip cups that I did as I explained out of paint I had left over from a previous pour and wow look at that it really does look like some kind of cut stone um, and this one all the greens turned out in this one but the effects are so shimmery I'm not sure if it's seeing this through here it's really gorgeous so very very pleased with those quick flip cups using two flip cups that um, I was literally um, left over from a previous pour so there you go don't don't despair and uh, wonder what to do flip them or as I will actually I didn't flip them did I what is that technique called when you kissing cups Kissing cups, maybe they were kissing cups. Here, I'll call them kissing cups. That sounds nice. Okie doke, I'll say bye for now, my lovelies. Please take care.